Guten Tag. My name is Martin Palmer. I'm the owner of Thomas Palmer Fine German Wines, Hong Kong Limited, www.finegermanwines.hk. I come from the Naha wine region where I'm standing now. Germany has 13 wine regions such as the Pfalz, Rheinhessen, and Baden. The Naha wine region, we have been making wine for 1,500 years and our highest quality white wines will always be Riesling, Weissburgunder, which is Pinot Blanc, and for red wines it is Pinot Noir, or in German we say Spätburgunder. In Germany and in the Naha region, the best vineyards are called Erste Lage. Erste means first, and Lage means site or location. In over hundreds and hundreds of years, these Erste Lage vineyards have produced the best Riesling and Pinot Blanc and Pinot Noir in Germany. The Naha region has about 4,300 hectares, which is about 4% of the German vineyards under cultivation. Because I come from the Naha wine region, I only sell wine from this region here. Why do I only sell wine from the Naha region? Because these vines are part of my culture. My house is located 10 minutes down the road, and I'm deeply honored to be able to share my culture with the people and my clients of Hong Kong. I started my boutique wine company in Hong Kong on December the 6th, 2008, with the main goal of A, making the Naha region and my seven winemakers just as famous as the other top winemakers and top wine regions of the world. Because I come from the Naha region, I feel I can really, really express our culture and what we're all about. And since I've been living in Hong Kong for almost eight years now, I feel that no other grape variety in the world pairs so well with the different cuisine styles of China, such as Cantonese, Macanese, Sichuanese, Hunanese, Peking food, as Astalaga Riesling and Astalaga Pinot Noir from the Naha wine region of Germany. What sets the Naha wine region apart from all the other wine regions in Germany, and for that matter, the world? Number one, millions of years ago, there was an ocean covering the Naha region. And if you look at the bottom of the ocean, they have many, many different soils. For example, you have fish and crabs and clams and oysters in the ocean and when they die their shells decompose over millions of years and the shell is made up of calcium which gives a chalky soil when it decomposes. Millions of years ago in the Naha region we also had many many volcanoes. When a volcano erupts the lava comes out and this lava is basically molten rock molten minerals. It hardens and it forms different layers of soil. In other wine regions in the world, the soil goes up in layers, but in the Naha region we have quite a lot of places where the soil goes up vertically. So for example, in my village the reason will taste a specific way, but only if I walk two minutes down the road to Langenlohnsheim, where my winemaker Martin Tesch is located, the 2012 winemaker of the year, his Riesling will taste 100% different. And that's not necessarily due to the climate, the wind and the rain and the sun, but it's because of the soils. Just like when you go to a restaurant, the chef will add different spices to his lobster to make it taste very good for us. The Naha region, a large part of the flavors comes from the soil. So we have places actually here where just by taking one step, the Riesling will taste 100% different. Nowhere else in the world do you have this, but in the Naha wine region of Germany. I've made it my mission in life to share these beautiful, beautiful Rieslings and Pinot Noirs from the Estelaga vineyard, mind you, of the Naha region with the people of Hong Kong. And it means everything to do this for me. The next time I'll be standing in this vineyard around Christmas time when I go back to Germany. The 2013 harvest will be over. The flowering just finished a few days ago. 
and in about three months, the vines around me will make beautiful, beautiful wines. These vines, if I were to take a wild guess, I would say about, about four or five years old. And it takes about 10 years for a vine, when it is planted as a baby, for it to grow until it starts making high quality wines. The older the vine, the thicker the root, and the deeper the root, thicker the stem, but the smaller the berry. So as the vine gets older, the berries become smaller and smaller, but this concentrates the flavor. Well, in a nutshell, that's basically what motivates me. And I just really thank you for taking the time to watch this video on YouTube. I'm all alone in Hong Kong. And by using social media, I can really, really spread the word around the world. Thank you for watching the video, and I look forward to seeing you again. My pleasure.